Hi, it's Candy Candy Photography. Yes, you can hear from my voice. I am sick again. Oh, what are the odds in that? So it's do with the fact it's right close to my birthday. My birthday is actually on Tuesday when this comes out. So it'll be this will come out on Sunday, so my birthday will be in two days' time. And I have all oh, caught the cold and also my allergies because it's hay fever. I am feeling pretty rough. <coughs> You know, but I'm buzzing because it's my birthday. I've got a massive meal plan with my friends. I wasn't going to do a video this weekend because I was kind of like, mm, it's my birthday, let's relax. But I thought, no, let's get one out there. Let's get one out there for you guys. Um, I want to talk about what it's like to to be and to, well to have a business in a very saturated market in a very small town. Now Northampton isn't massive. We are very close to some major cities. So we've got London not too far away. We've got Milton Mil Keynes, which is even closer. Which is like. 14, 15 miles that way. We've got Leicester just up the road, we've got Birmingham, we've got all sorts. And actually, Northampton itself is pretty small. And we have loads of photographers. I will tell you now, in just this area where I live in, I know of four photographers. It is crazy. And yet, I don't think that I am not going to get clients here. And I think it's a mental state. A mental state? No, it's a mental process, a mental thinking. I don't know, a mentality. And it's because I just know that I'm offering something different. And that's egotistical, and that is full of my own hype, but you kind of have to be if you're going to put something out there in the art world, and you have to uh, create something that you want to sell to people who are very passionate about their own business, their own lifestyles, and you're going to sell it, so you need to be as passionate and feel and as Johnny Big Bollocks about it as you can be. By the way, we are in my garden, which isn't helped my allergies, so if you hear birds tweeting, that's because we're in the English countryside. We're well, not really. We are kind of the country park somewhere over there. And there's going to be loads of noise because everyone is out having barbecues and partying because it's our first summertime. And it's our bank holiday here. If you don't know what a bank holiday is, I'm hoping you do. Google it. Basically, it's like when none of the shops are really open but they do but we all pretend they don't so we have to mass buy everything in the shop so there's no bread there's no burgers there's none of that sort of stuff because you know that's, we have to panic buy it's almost like a zombie apocalypse but with sunshine <laughs> and your allergies go crazy <coughs> we should do a, count a counter on my coughs um so what I sort of want to talk about really quickly is about um, not being afraid to be different in a small town. Um, first of all, you, the best thing you can do is start networking. Everyone's oh, I don't know how to network. Talk to people. I know you hate it, but if you run a business, you have to talk to people. You have to get out there. You have to talk, get networking. You have to say, hi, how are you? Learn a bit about their business. See what else you can offer them. Be bold, be brassy, get in their face if you want to, but be very authentic to you, okay? No, nothing just lands in your lap. If you're using social media and you're going, I'm posting loads of stuff on Facebook, but I'm not getting any interaction, are you interacting with people? If you're not interacting with people, why are they going to talk to you? No one talks to the kid in the corner that just shouts stuff at them, okay? They want to talk to the kid that wants to have conversations with them. So I kind of look at social media as like a, like, a, like a staff room. You walk in, everything you put is something that you want the whole world to know. So if all you're doing is walking in and shouting and then leaving, everyone's going to think you're weird and ignore you, okay? So you kind of have to walk in and talk to the person there stuff in their coffee and say hey I've got this do you want to have a look and they'll start talking to you so you have to start using your social media you have to start networking that way start going to the few a few network events now I am going to say I've had some dodgy experiences at network events I went to a couple where um, they start early in the morning and you pay a little bit of money and you have breakfast and then everyone has to stand up and talk some stuff about themselves and you're like oh okay this is okay this is okay this is good and then it just gets a little bit bizarre when like they're like, oh, we only have one photographer in our group. And also it made me feel a little uncomfortable. And so I knew that group wasn't me. Now that isn't to say it's not for everybody. Um, I know, and I'm a weirdo and I don't really like that whole one of us, one of us thing. So I decided not to join them ones. I've also been to one that was aimed um, at young, young entrepreneurs. And it seemed that they were paying a lot of money for someone to effectively talk a lot of big words at them and not really give them any substance. Now I'm a cynical old bat. So I sat there and I was like, okay, ready with my notebook. Still ready with my notebook. Still ready. What are you going to tell me that's worthwhile? So, so far you have told me how amazing you are. Yay. And give me nothing. I was like, mm, okay. So that was a really pointless seminar for me. Be careful when you do your networking. My, my best thing to do is just network with businesses that you t tend to go to. You know, if you if you go to a little coffee shop, start talking to the owner. You know, tell them how much you love their stuff, let them know you're a photographer, drop it into conversation, and pretty soon, you know, you get great. Oh, there's a local coffee shop here that is actually owned by my friend. And, um, oh, by the way, if you ever get to go, dapper sandwich. Mm, mm, mm. Yummy, I was there today. Uh, and um, from there, I've actually had business clients meet, and also, bizarrely, loads of my clients go there now. So it's like this little round robin, okay? Another thing when you're in a small town, is get outside and go to events that aren't necessarily what you're into but you you know you, 
they're networking opportunities. So I went to, I don't drink alcohol, uh, for no reason that I'm really terrible for hangover. <laughs> and um, what ha so I go to this event, I went to this um, alcohol like, wine tasting thing, wine. So I went along and um, I picked up two new clients just by talking. And you find that if you start interacting with people, they start noticing you around and then you start building this whole friendship up and you start getting these business relationships. The other thing is your social media. You also have to tap into the hashtags that local business are using. So I'm in Northampton, so I use Northampton Photographer, um, or I use Northampton Blogger, or Northampton this, Northampton that, and I start talking to people, okay? So when you start talking to people, people start recognizing you and understanding what you're about, and you start making friends, Ooh, friends! <laughs> and you start interacting and they start recommending people, and that's kind of where you start standing out. The other way to stand out in a small town is to obviously this is a very important point because that guy died to beep his horn is to stop looking at the competition now, I've done a whole video which I've linked previously about how not to uh, think of the competition as competition and get a different mentality but actually stop going oh they're doing mini sessions so I need to do mini sessions now they're doing this so I need that because they're doing mini sessions <sighs> so what they're doing they're tapping into that clientele that love them and love what they do you need to start offering something different so if they're doing mini sessions offer big portfolio sessions or if they're doing I know mini sessions and you really want to do mini sessions don't do them in the same style they're doing do them in your more unique style don't just offer Christmas ones that you know the kids wrapped in tinsel and sat in a little basket do something else get them in a fake snow scene or whatever it is that you love but that's how you start standing out people could shop in a saturated town all over the place all over the bloody place and because there's so many of you so you need to offer something unique and now you the only way you're gonna offer something unique is tapping into what makes you unique which is yourself and what you love Okay. I'm pretty sure your house isn't decorated the same way as your neighbours and so on and so on. So you know that you have a little different of a vision. Why not bring that into your photography? <laughs> um, the other way in, in a small town is to uh, not think that your only clients are in this town. So, prime example, this week I have shot, uh, photographed um, ladies, uh, two ladies, one from Edinburgh, one from Wales. Um, I've had someone come from Milton Keynes. I've had uh, a band that came from, oh, hang on, they were a bit spread out. So there's Middlesbrough. Buxton, I can't remember the other places, all coming to Northampton to see me. Your clients don't just live in the vicinity where you are. Now, when you do mini sessions and smaller little bite sized sessions, yeah, perhaps target it the area where you live. But when you do something bigger, go wide with this, go crazy. So, you know, you've got to think outside, think outside your town because you are a destination photographer perhaps. People want to come to you. So when I designed my studio, I had it so it was a bit quirky, a bit, you know, a bit comfortable and people come in, the first thing they say is they start playing with all the costumes or they sit on all the chairs. It's always new chairs at my studio, always new chairs. <laughs> and the idea is then that people start to realize that I'm not just a Northampton based photographer, that I go over it. And I also travel, so I'm off to Norway soon. <laughs> and the idea is that I travel and then my clients are like, oh, she gets around a bit. So yeah, not just in photography. <laughs> okay, that made me look really bad. <laughs> Oops, I don't, I don't. Listen, I'm a newly single lady. <laughs> no, I don't, I still don't. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't even date, because I'm rubbish. That's another, <laughs> that's another thing. This date of me, <laughs> just to broadcast into the millions on YouTube and I look like a foot. <laughs> Okay, so standing out, standing out in a small town is only stopped by the way you see yourself. You are not a small town photographer. You live in a small town, but your photography is going all over the place. You know, it can be shared with a click of a button in Japan, for God's sake. You know, thanks to the good old share button. So you need to start thinking outside of that. Your clients are not immediately your neighbours. When uh, Can you tell I've gone off the blow my nose? I'm so unwell, it's brilliant. Uh, a small business isn't about small mindedness. Small, you don't think just this town, think bigger than this town. Why are you focusing just this client? Already there's loads of people here doing photography, so why would I just go in there? That's not to say I don't want to take clients from here, but it's always a good idea to think slightly bigger because if you think outside of this town, like minded clients are attracted to you, so you think bigger. The clients will start coming to you when you when you are looking for new clients and when you're looking to expand your business and you're already in a very saturated market the key is standing out and standing out the best way you know which is being yourself being your true authentic self to coin a very lovely social media thing and it is just just tapping into that um don't ever think that because you're in a small town your business isn't going to be a big 
big deal because people will, people who are like mine will be attracted to you and it doesn't happen overnight nothing happens overnight and the way to get ahead in a small town that is incredibly saturated is to chase better business and that isn't competing with already existing business that's chasing what ideal client fits in with you and how you run your business I'm totally distracted just then I was making a point by a mosquito flying that way and I was going please don't land on me Okay, Emil, this is probably a very rambly one that doesn't make much sense, but you know what? It's always to do. Forgive me. Comment below on any tips you've got about standing out in a saturated market, particularly if you live in a small town. Um, don't bother wishing me a happy birthday because I'm probably. No, wish me a happy birthday in vain. No, I feel rough as houses. I've waffled and I need to go take some more medication because I am super ill and I want to get better because I'm having a big meal on Monday to celebrate my birthday. Oddly, because my birthday's on Tuesday and everyone's back at work. Waffle on. Waffle on. Okay, have a great day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell button because apparently it does work and I love the fact it works. Bye. That didn't work. Look, there's a little clicky thing.